Okay, so perhaps you have seen my video discussing the danger and potential traumas that these elder men are presenting to their own daughters by entering of a relationship with teenage girls or developing young women in their 20s. But what if you're thinking this is not applicable to my exceptional case? You know, my case is different. You don't understand what we have. I'm an exception. My senior male romantic partner has no children. Ergo, he has no baggage. Okay, well, literally any mitigation presented to me, I will always, always have a retort. And in this case, for your sake, this is potentially even more dangerous. Why? Well, just because he has no children of his own to be potentially traumatizing by his being in a relationship with you, we have to stop to consider why. Why at this man's advanced stage in his life has he no children? Why has he never been married? Simply put, why has he seemingly had no discernible, stable relationship with longevity with any female age peer? Whilst this is a generalization, and of course all my videos are generalizations, but we have to remember a generalization is a generalization for a reason, and you know, if this is contextually accurate what I'm saying, it is likely that this man is hiding an unquantifiable amount of issues that have prevented him from maintaining a healthy, stable relationship with anybody his own age. If so, this man unequivocally poses an extreme danger to you. At your premature stage in your emotional development, whether you are a teenager or a young woman in her 20s, you're ultimately yet to develop fully on an emotional level and address your own issues. You're still growing up to and into your 30s. You are certainly not equipped to be dealing with the issues of a man the same age as your father, perhaps even your grandfather. And by the way, you should not have to be dealing with them at your age. This man presented them to you consciously by being anywhere fucking near you. This is just one of the thousand reasons why these men, from the inception of your relationship with them, are thinking about one thing and one thing only, and that is themselves. They are unequivocally, actively, consciously exploiting a young woman between the ages of 16 to 30 by being anywhere near them. And I say 16 because this is where they begin to start working within the legality of what they're doing. You know, they're not going to go lower than that. They're specifically targeting young females that fall into a demographic that are ultimately easier to subjugate than women of their own advanced age, but within the legality. So between 16 to 30, 18 to 30, you get the idea. If you are in a relationship of this nature, my advice to you would be to stop. Please take a step back, reassess the situation that you're in, reevaluate yourself, try to find some perspective and a level of rationality to make the responsible adult decision to extricate yourself from this relationship. As fundamentally, intrinsically, it is imbalanced. Objectively, it is unhealthy and it is more likely going to damage you than it is likely you are going to benefit as a result of being in this relationship. Thank you for listening, I've been Jay, and aside from warning of the inherent dangers of dating elder men, I will soon be launching a video series on relationships in general, discussing relationship dynamics, how to improve communication, how to recognise and address both your personal issues and the issues of the relationship efficiently and healthily. Um, so yeah, please uh, subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you for listening, stay safe, and uh, bye.